So you can see the street wall I'm talking about with the Warners and the building past them. Off all the way. You don't have landscape setback. You have a nice street wall. You can look down it and see whether it looks safe to walk on. And if you saw a bunch of tables out in front with people sitting, and some nice street trees put in, it would look really beautiful. That's beautiful in that kind of street as anywhere else, right? So you can really start to see it taking shape at both ends. All right. I think you probably all want to get off to some warm soup. Uh, the Fres Yes Festival is happening at the other end. So uh, if you have any interest in that, it's a really big event. Uh, even if you aren't interested in going inside of it, um, I think it's interesting to just look at who does show up. So like when people say they want to open a business here or who would come down here or whatever, I say come to some of these things and look and see. These are people we're not having to convince to come downtown. They're already here, right? They're, uh, they're here all the time. They love it here. It's all the arguments that you hear from other places or parts of town where they say no one will go there or I don't like going there. That doesn't matter. There are already people who do. Look at who they are. It's incredibly diverse, age-wise, economic-wise, ethnicity-wise. That's exactly what we'd want in our downtown is to have a place where Everyone could come and mix together and enjoy each other and meet new people and I always like to think about eating new food and hearing new music and seeing new fashion and you know that's what downtowns really excel at so um, So even if you don't go inside just just take a few minutes and just look inside and see how happy people are and and, and uh, you get kind of a sense of the vibe that we just hope continues to keep growing. Beer makes you happy, correct? <laughs> it makes me happy up to a point. Okay. <laughs> and it makes me sleepy because I'm old. <laughs> I also want to thank my parents for coming out. Frank and Marty Sharp. It's pretty neat when you're 55 years old and you still have the support of your parents. That means a lot. He, he's always been a great son, correct? Uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> a real fun son. Good. Uh, definitely a, uh, hills and valleys on that, that one. Hopefully I'm getting better now. All right. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Um, any last questions? Where's the Frank, nearest uh, feeder? I'm wondering, are, on Venice, are the plants still going forward to make it? better for bicycles yes they are doing bicycle someone asked me about bikes before yeah, is that you yeah Hopefully. around Inyo and Van Ness they uh, they are applying for those grants to make it a dedicated bike lane which means not even just yeah separated bike lane so it's not just a stripe it's actually a curb so uh, bikes don't have to worry about cars at all um, uh, those are interesting. Uh, those have had mixed reviews around the world. Um, uh, they're, they're kind of a design challenge to keep clean. The street sweepers can't go in, and when you have narrower space like that, it tends to collect more stuff. Um, and then some of them haven't been put in the right locations, and everyone gets mad because they're not used very much. So just like with any new planning idea, just like pedestrian malls, we really need to have criteria to measure whether they're working or not. Uh, you don't just put it in and go, well, this is our latest idea. We think it's going to work and then leave it for 52 years. <laughs> you know, you want to be able to say, holy mackerel, sales taxes plummeting, property values are dropping. This thing that we thought would work isn't working. Let's change it. We don't set that criteria. So now I think with data, people are being a little smarter about saying, Hey, we like this idea of parklets. Let's take a parking space and turn it into tables and chairs. And won't that be cool? Sounds cool. City started jumping on board. Turns out they didn't really work that well, except for a very few instances. And so cities that were pioneers for that are now making them illegal. So that's all right. They, it's all right to try stuff. Just have a way to measure it and then adjust, right? Uh, we want people still trying new stuff, but um, 
those dedicated bike lanes will be interesting to see how that how that works I'm all for it but we have to see if it holds up to scrutiny. I feel like when they do not went on Van Ness. Yeah. You're trying to pull out of any of the cross streets left, and you have all the cars parked. You have the bike lane. I'm surprised there, more yeah. cars have not been yeah. involved in wrecks. Yeah. I, uh, Van Ness and Wishon should be two-way streets. There's no no doubt in any person in revitalization in the country that I would bring in here. They would still say, why are they one-way streets? One-way streets are bad for neighborhoods, which they go through, and they're bad for retail, which they both go through. Two-way, two-way, two-lane streets are the ideal everywhere, because then at any intersection, you can go left, straight, or right. You're in the correct lane. You don't have to be in the left turn lane to go left or the right. Now, it causes congestion, which has been what traffic engineers have sought to get rid of. They're uh, their desire is to move the most amount of cars the most efficiently, which means having tons of capacity. But um, but it's like requiring Fashion Fair to have 8,000 parking stalls that are only filled, you know, six weeks out of the year. We require a bunch of capacity that is more than we need. And in cities, especially downtowns, we don't want to have excess capacity. We'd rather have congestion than wide open, empty, three-lane streets, right? Does that make sense? It's kind of counterintuitive. All right, let's get some more warm. If you're going to lunch, Los Planchos is open on Tulare. Uh, if you ask for the Craig margarita, it's not on the menu. It'll be better than the other margaritas. Uh, good Mexican food. There's Chinese food on the east side on the southern block. What else is open? Lots of food trucks. Food trucks. And a bunch of food trucks down at the Fres Yes Fest. Thank you, Craig. Oh, you're welcome. I love it. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. And thank you for having Craig. <laughs> <laughs>